to 24. Not bad. What time of day is it now? Mid afternoon still. Alright, what's this? Tree's covered with old dried fruit. The old fruit in this tree is withered and smaller with hormits. You think better about picking it. Damn. No free fruit for this hero. Oops. No, that's not a palm tree. <laughs> okay. Now, it's been a while since I saved, so I should do it because I'm out here in the wilderness. Right. Now, this way I believe is the graveyard. And I don't think there's anything useful here, but should, like check it out in the daytime when it's safe. Oh no, that's not the graveyard. This way, a bit further north. And I'm pretty sure if you pick that mandrake route at any time other than midnight, it just kind of disintegrates or something. See, oh, this must be the town graveyard. What a run-down place. It's certainly creepy here, even during the daylight hours. The red root growing out of one of the graves is a strange and evil appearance. Nothing grows in the dirt of the old graveyard. Some of the graves appear to have been disturbed. The graves seem to have been placed haphazardly in the tiny graveyard. All appear to be old and poorly maintained. What's this? Massive grate covers the hole, keeping you from seeing the bottom. The grate is clearly rusted shut. You won't be able to open it. A large tombstone seems to have a barely legible epitaph. Here lies an atheist, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> Growing out of the grave is an evil-looking plant with a slimy, poisonous sheen. I don't like the implication, you bastards. <laughs> Just because he's an atheist, an evil root grows out of his grave? <sighs> Typical. Well, in a world like this, there's a bit more reason to believe in gods with all the magic and crazy shit going on. Oh, speaking of which... Throw a rock at it. Oh no, I haven't got any rocks. Alright. I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to save. That's not the stupid part. The stupid part is uh, trying to kill this thing. I could throw an apple at it. Throw an apple at it. Doesn't work. No, didn't think so. Alright, come on you bastard. Let's just see if I can get the dodging down. Oh, no, stamina's too low. Everything's taking too long. No. Death from overwork. It was a little too much for you. Collapse from exhaustion and die. Yeah, I thought so. Need to oh god, it's gone black. That's weird. <laughs> little palette problem there. I better switch to run mode. Come on. Uh, do it. No, that's wrong. Low on stamina, but I've got to run. Ah, good, I'm back here. They don't follow you into the civilized areas. Okay. Anything more to say? Nah, yeah, I've already talked enough to him. What time of day is it now? Still mid afternoon. God damn it. There's too many hours in the day. I need to rest. I suppose I could go to sleep and... No. Well, I'm going to go buy some more daggers. Because I need to have some edge in battle once I have my hit points back. Uh, so I can throw a bunch of daggers at the uh, at the enemy. Before uh, combat begins. Or maybe even kill them before they even get close. How many I can get? Yeah, 20 silver each, I think, if I remember rightly. And once I get into the Thieves Guild, I can get even more money out of the uh, stuff I stole. Dry goods. Yes, a dagger is usually dry when it's been unused. But when I'm done with it, it's covered in blood. Usually not mine, if I'm not too careless. Alright. 
Let's buy something. The dagger. You are. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, let's see how much. Eight gold pieces and one silver. Two daggers each way. Alright. I think they said it was ten. Or was it a hundred? I can't remember. Let's find out. No, it's definitely uh, ten. So, that leaves me with three daggers. And I don't want to spend too much more in case I need that money for something. So I get to throw two daggers and then fight in close. And that might be enough to give me an edge, at least against the goblin. I'm hoping I can retrieve the uh, daggers afterwards. Oh, I should check food. Have I been eating the rations or the apples? Still got ten apples. And four food rations. Hmm. And... I have to wait for night for this guy to appear, don't I? Yeah, grubby place, alley. Arms for the poor. So is this guy my contact? Nah. He said at night, didn't he? Yeah. Alright. Check out the tavern, at least. See if something's changed since yesterday. Probably not. He's probably the butcher and the baker are still playing Go Fish. This guy's still unconscious and the schoon is still ugly. I wonder if talking to him is going to be fatal. Let's find out. <laughs> Ask about Thieves Guild. What's the password? Octoliba. Goon seems to be Ah, so that's the Thieves Guild under there. Crusher. You seem to have annoyed him. Oh dear. Tavern. Crusher bears his teeth at you. If you're in big trouble, it's just that's his way of smiling. Oh dear. Am I Oh! He threw me out. Am I dead? Oh. Alright, it's starting to get dark, but the night is still young, so let's go and see if we can meet the Thieves Guild, and hopefully acquire a nice fence, and I don't mean a thing to keep things out of my garden. I mean a guy to sell stuff to, which is hot. And I don't mean hot as in warm, I mean hot as in illegally n acquired through non-legal, illegal manners, like taking them without permission and stuff. And this is what happens when I try to fill time <laughs> with words. Look at that. You see light glinting from something shiny in the alley. You can't make out what it is. It's the... Uh, it's the bait for a trap, obviously. But I'm a thief, so... I'm going to save. I mean, I'm a thief, so I'm not afraid. Yeah. Hey, you can trust me. I steal things. <laughs> there it is. This place seems sinister at night. Some strange object is glowing at the other end of the alley. Yeah. Oh dear. That coin light spell gets them every time. See that dagger? The next one is centered on your back. Give Sneak there your cash and you walk out of here. Simple trade. Your life for your money. Uh, no. Finger is starting to get a bit twitchy, so forget about the question, just pay the man. Uh, well, how do I. I thought I was supposed to meet the Thieves Guild here. Alright, fine. Maybe then they'll listen to me. Thanks, and have a nice evening. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. You can find your way out, I'm sure, but make it fast before my dagger slips. He seems to be ignoring you. Alright, well, in that case, I'm going to try to stab them. 
Despite your intentions, you feel a calm and sense of peace descend upon you. As you even you consider your thoughts of violence. What? Why? Can I take his dagger? Damn it! Some man seems to be smiling at you. Maybe be sure, but that dagger makes him look seven feet tall. Well, that's not fair. I can't even fucking attack him. Even suicidally. Glowing golden coin. Pick it up. Ugh. Well, that's annoying. Well, I'm gonna reload because I'm losing all my fucking money. Money patch is empty. No fucking way. Guess there must be some other way of finding out the password to the Thieves Guild. In the meantime, let's go get some much needed rest. And day three is upon us. And all my stats should be restored. Oh, health is still low. Hmm. That's unfortunate, but at least my stamina is up. I guess I might need a healing potion after all. But I still feel a bit safer going out into the wilderness with my three daggers and my three healing potions. So let's do just that. Let's go and seek further adventure. Since my thieving career is less than stellar. <laughs> but it does make it a bit more challenging. Let's try going east this time. Should have probably picked a fighter. Always the fun in that. You know? This is uh It was fun sneaking about people's houses. And who knows, lock pickery may become useful later in the game. Oh, was that a graphical glitch or strange red eyes in the darkness? I don't know. I saw that again. Did you? Hmm. Oh, this is a snowy area. I can't go past, isn't it? it feels like the recent avalanche has sealed off the road leading out of the valley. Oh well. There seems to be a fox north of the road. Oh, it's trapped. Poor thing. It's in some trap that wasn't there before. Help me, brave and kind hero. Fuck, you can talk. Okay. Spring the trap. There you go. In exchange for your kindness, I will give you some advice and a bit of information. First of all, it pays off to be polite, even to rude people. As for the amusing tidbit, Baba Yaga put an enchantment on the Baron's daughter some years back. To break the trout, the spell, you have to speak talk to the dryad. Au revoir, ta-ta, be seeing you now. Hmm, some use you were. Can I use this? Can I pick up this trap? This trap is an especially nasty piece of work. Besides the long, the inch-long spiky bits, it, well, never mind. It would suffice it to say that you would not enjoy being caught in it. Oh, I can't pick it up. Oh well. 